Shock 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 is a 1987 art film brought to us from the power duo of Todd Rutt and Arne McConnell. Todd Rutt would later go on to be a graphic artist on shows like Saturday Night Live, The Dana Carvey Show, and The Chris Rock Show. Arne McConnell? Well, uh, I'm sure he's a really great guy. The opening bit takes place in 1961, and you can tell because back then kids loved playing with blocks of plutonium. Yes. I love you, dearest. I love you too, darling. <sighs> Jim Deere and Darling have about as good a chemistry as ammonia and bleach. And it looks like the vapors have gotten to poor little Jimmy here. What was that? What the? Yes, his dreams of being Edmund Perdum are out of the question since he now finds himself in an insane asylum. Okay, let's go warm up the electroshock machine. That'll calm him down real good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One karate chop later and Jim escapes from the violent ward. The unviolent ward is a lot more tame. I imagine that during the credits, Jim's escape from the institution was so intense it totally didn't involve him just walking out the front door. Jim picks up a random woman off the street and best hope she doesn't brandish a knife in front of him. This looks like an ordinary wristwatch, but... If you open this secret latch... Really? Seems like you were kind of grasping at straws there to give her a reason to pull out a knife. Oh, it was to show him a hidden diamond that the Mafia is after. <laughs> now it makes sense. See, look, the gangster just shot their tires out. Hey, yeah boss? She got away. Um, they're right there. You could probably catch them if you hang up the phone. Yeah, you're making it really hard for this hitman to find you when you're just running down the middle of the street. And running in slow motion isn't gonna help you either. <laughs> Damn it! why do you keep laughing at everything? <laughs> it's because you're a robot. This robot even has the power to knock Jim out without even touching him. All this trouble, she better give him her phone number. If she gets away this time, you're not gonna wanna be you anymore, see? Use hear what I says, use? Use, use, use mitts to chuck use off bridge, see? <laughs> <laughs> this movie can't even afford water! You know, it's a good thing I took my morning walk by the river, or else you would be dead. Yes, that's her. You know her? She's my daughter, Helen. Since her mother died, she is all I have left in the world. If this movie were any more convenient, the character's whole backstory would just be explained on a newspaper headline. Aw, oh, it! better cover that up fast! Whoops! After some good old-fashioned science, they finally find out where Helen is located. Yes, my theory was correct. What, do you think I have a joke here? Pfft. I can't argue with science. Where's the star of Bartos? Tell me! The two break in to rescue her, but... <laughs> Your weapons are powerless against me. Oh, you bastard. You just scratched this perfectly good reel of film. They'll explain everything, though I don't know why you'd be confused by this. I'm Commander Zon Pell, ruler of the planet Stigmata. I have come to Earth to steal the mystic star of Bartos. Scarl with his terrible death ray eyes. Criella with her transpatial ability. One little flashback later proves that Jimmy wasn't the killer. It was the mob boss who apparently doesn't age. Behold the terrible and awful Fangalon! I don't know, this movie's starting to get a little far-fetched. By the mystic star of Bartos. Oh, come on. Who didn't know that was gonna happen? Oh, no! Spaceman! Spaceman! Space oh, no! Dollar General Toys! Monster Lloyd's one weakness! The story begins many years ago. In South America. Really? This is the time you should be wrapping things up, not giving us backstory on Manimal's father. For we knew the evil stigmatons would do anything to possess the Star of Bartos. And now, after all these years, Spaceman is reborn. What kind of movie are you? 
This is the only fight sequence I've seen that could also double as a photo shoot. Luckily, she's defeated by the power of numbers. <laughs> Spaceman manages to conquer Captain Stupid Human Trick by, ho uh ho -oh, scratching the other side of the film. Zontel, or Mafia Guy, or whatever he's called, is defeated by, uh, a bullet? Okay, well, I guess that'll do. I suppose this is better than Superman, in that at least in this version, he is seen flying, and he has an original theme song. Goodbye, Spaceman, goodbye! With the mystic star of Bartos, he roams the stellar sky. So good. So true. So brave. So strong. You're all supposed to be dead! The film has been getting a little bit of play recently due to what is supposedly the very first screen appearance of the late, great James Gandolfini, seen here as one of the hospital orderlies. I would have been slightly skeptical, but he is listed in the ending credits as Jim Gandolfini, and since when has IMDb ever lied about anything? TV lost one of its greatest badasses in history. And it is always fun to discover a brilliant actor's early work, no matter how small the role or how truly bizarre the film in question is. And I can't think of a better way to end the episode than to have the big guy himself carry on with the stinger. What is your favorite curse word? It's a Jersey one. It's a fucking douchebag. <laughs>